Hi there, welcome to Boxbread. Uh, this is my post-fight video on the fight between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez on the weekend. Uh, Manny Pacquiao was given the decision victory. I predicted that Pacquiao was going to get a stoppage victory in this one. I was wrong. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, I was wrong. Just, um, my reasons were mainly because of the weight issues surrounding the fight. Um, as with a lot of other people, you know, were concerned with the same thing. Uh, where the way that Marquez gained the weight this time, I, th I feel made the difference. He was doing a lot of explosive training to gain the weight, whilst keeping flexibility in his muscles and trying to maintain speed. And I think he really did uh, benefit from that, the techniques he used to gain weight this time. Uh, I first watched the fight with my brother, and it was not very good quality. Um, it was a bit difficult to see which punches were landing. Um, you know, the film, the video quality wasn't very good. Um, but me and my brother were both in agreement that Marquez was doing rather well and that the rounds were really close. Um, when the round, when the fight finished, I turned to my brother and I said, uh, there's no doubt, they will give it to Pacquiao. Um, and we thought it was a very close fight, but one which, uh, from what we could see, uh, Pacquiao probably just nicked, um, got, well, got the result. I have since watched the fight independently, with a uh, much better quality of video, I could actually see, you know, full, the fight fully. Uh, actually, you know, the quality needed to actually maybe score the fight. Um, I won't go into details about my scoring, but I had Juan Manuel Marquez winning the fight um, by a couple of rounds, at least. Um, I understand that uh, Manny Pacquiao was the ag more aggressive come forward fighter in the fight. But for people like Harold Lederman of HBO, who score based purely on aggression and coming forward, um, he's missing the point that Marquez fights backing up. That's what he does. He's a counterpuncher. He waits for you to come onto him so that he can counterpunch you. It wouldn't work if he was the aggressor. It just simply wouldn't work. Um, and he has failed. People like Lederman have failed to recognize um, the, the actual technical skills that Marquez showed in that fight in drawing Pacquiao in, making Pacquiao miss considerably throughout the fight and scoring with uh, counter punches and the cleaner punches throughout the fight. Um, so I'm in agreement with a lot of people who have said that uh, Marquez deserved to get the decision in this fight. Um, as I said I've watched it twice and on second second time of seeing it I felt that uh, Marquez won the fight. Um, I am not sure, I think there will be a rematch, um, I think the fact that Ara, Bob Arum has said in the ring afterwards that there will be a rematch just goes to show that nobody really thought that Pacquiao won uh, convincingly or cleanly. I thought that uh, Manny Pacquiao looked tired, um, he, he looked a bit gassed out in this fight, um, he seemed to get tired of quicker than he has in his previous fights uh, well his face he just didn't look in look in his usual self really um, I said to my brother after a couple of rounds I said Pacquiao looks tired this is unusual you know um, there are two points I'd like to make with regards to Floyd Mayweather like how this fight has made me feel about a fight between Pacquiao and Mayweather first of all a big positive in that Pacquiao is susceptible to being counterpunched by a good counterpuncher, and Floyd Mayweather is a good counterpuncher, an excellent counterpuncher, in fact. He's also very open to right, straight right hands, and a straight right hand is pretty much a trademark punch of Floyd Mayweather, and he will fancy his chances of landing that punch all night on Pacquiao. And there were obviously issues surrounding the whole um, way that fight went. 
uh, the success that Marquez had that will quite possibly uh, make Mayweather even more confident of victory should he face Pacquiao. Now, uh, a concern uh, was that what Marquez did very well was he wasn't backed up against the ropes at, at all throughout the fight. Um, he maintained his position uh, and didn't give away too much. Now, of course, he was backing up, but he was circling. Uh, one thing that concerns me about this is you need to do that with Manny to stop him pressurising and to actually uh, give your effective aggression um, to, you know, show him that you mean business so he doesn't try and steamroll you. And I think that's what gained Manny's respect from the off with Marquez. When Mayweather fought Victor Ortiz, I was a bit, bit uncomfortable watching Mayweather get pushed back to the ropes very easily by Ortiz. A couple of times he had Ortiz just barraged him and had him on the ropes. Um, and th that would be a concern for me is, you know, Mayweather will have to make sure he doesn't get backed up onto the ropes and backed up too much because that's when I feel uh, Pacquiao could nullify that uh, those, those that defence and those counter punches. And that's what Mayweather would have to watch out for, for me. Um, so there are the two main points regarding Mayweather. Um, all in all, uh, I enjoyed the fight. <coughs> I thought it was um, a rather good fight, Technic from a technical standpoint, from watching to um, watch, watching you know a good boxing, skillful boxing match, and boxing display. Um, I feel that. Uh, Yes, uh, people have reason to say, you know, Marquez should have won this fight. And, um, you know, for him, I would really be chasing the rematch uh, to get that fourth shot, you know, because this just didn't prove or solve anything to do with the trilogy, to do with the first two fights. It just caused more confusion and caused more con more controversy. Um, so, yep, that's my, they're my post-fight thoughts. Not a lot that hasn't been said already. But I want to drop it there for you, my viewers, to let you know my views on the fight. Uh, so thank you for watching as always. Please subscribe if you like my channel. And please let me know what you guys thought about the fight in relation to what I've said. This is Boxpread and I'm out.